uh, Coach, congratulations on the win. Well, first of all, once again, I want to congratulate Wake Forest on an outstanding season, an outstanding team, and uh, uh, we've had two competitive ball games with them, and uh, uh, congratulations to them on their season. Um, we talked after the game last night about we had some momentum going. I thought we got our offense going again about winning the first inning today, and uh, we got one spot up there and put up a zero, and uh, we, I thought we kept some momentum and some confidence and a good feeling on our side of the field. and. We had lots of chances during the close course of the game, but uh, obviously we hung in there and stayed after it. We're getting more quality at bats up and down the lineup, and it's, it's shown in terms of the number of runs we scored here in the last few ball games. This gentleman over here, Lucas, um, last night I told him he was going to start, or Tyler Hansen, and this, once we found out who we were playing, so on and so forth, and I told him this morning that he was going to start, and uh, probably would have been in our starting plans uh, this season. Um, he had to miss the first five weeks of the season and uh, uh, for personal reasons. Um, and uh, we got him back, uh, I think, the sixth weekend of the season. And we've used him in the bullpen. He's built his arm strength up and did an outstanding job of using three pitches out there. Uh, and of course, the ball game. And obviously, the big turning point was striking out the side there with the bases loaded and kept the score on our side. Questions? Lucas, can you just talk about that second inning? Because, I mean, you've know, already pitched once, like you said, you're all getting your ball strength, right? and you don't want to throw too many pitches so you can go deeper into the game. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's not an ideal inning. Uh, um, I was trying to pitch the contact, and I mean, they're a good team. Um, you throw a pitch and you miss your spot, they're going to hit it. And they did a great job all game, and they loaded the bases, and um, I kind of changed my approach. Coach came out and kind of calmed me down, and I just made some big pitches when I needed to. When you, when you got into the fourth and fifth, did you feel like you were fatiguing a little bit? Because you had, I mean, what your career high was like three innings before, or three and a half? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's a lot more pitches than I've ever thrown, but you only get this opportunity once every so often. So there's a little bit of adrenaline, and I just wanted to go out there and compete and go as long as I could and try and save some arms for the team. Anything else? Brian comes in and gets you out of trouble. Oh, That's man. I played with him this summer, and I always joke with him. This summer, I would start, and he'd come in, and he'd always give up my runs. Thank God he finally figured it out. Once the season came around, he's come in and saved my butt a couple times. Coach, I saw uh, Athman left the game. Will Hobb, was he going to be available for the second? This he took a fall tip off the knee, um, and then the slide at home plate kind of, well, it was bothering him the whole game and didn't help him. It was the last run we scored there when he tagged up and uh, got him out of there. And uh, we anticipate he's going to be able to play. I'll find out when I get out of here. But uh, it's not serious. But we try to just save some wear and tear the best we can in this heat. You know, we're not accustomed to this heat, kind of heat. And so it's, it's hard to catch two ball games in this kind of heat. And, you know, he's a big, strong young man. And I'm sure he'll want to play. We'll evaluate that. And hopefully we can have him back there. We need him back there. and. Uh, uh, so it's not serious, but uh, enough to slow him down a little bit. And you, you'd already lost the uh, model? Model went out last uh, ground ball in the infield. He pulled his hamstring yesterday, and so um, he was not available. Feel for Danny. He's had an outstanding senior year for us. He's had some injuries in his career and finally put together a full season. I feel terrible that he can't finish out his campaign here. Um, but, uh, you know, he is available to pinch hit. Uh, we could use him as a pinch here. He might have to hobble down to first base, but right now that's he's limited in terms of what he can do. But it also altered your batting lineup quite a bit. Huh? Well, you saw what we did today. We moved it around and put Fiedler up at the top and, and uh, you know, put uh, uh, Jordan Smith in center and Stemper in, in, in left field and, uh, you know, move some people around. So, um, you know, we'll... Uh, We'll figure out what we're going to do here the next game. Ben Mazinga can play out there. He hasn't played a lot. He's a freshman, but he's worked hard this season. He's gotten better, doesn't have a lot of at-bats, but he's the other option. Uh, did you think of saving Jess at all once you got the four runs in the eighth? Well, you're in a tough situation there. You know, you don't know. It was, he was coming in in the eighth. Uh, Glowicki was done, um, and the game was in balance. And so we got him hot. So just decided, and plus, you got to win the game. I have a lot of respect for Wake Forest the way they swing the bat, so you can't just say with two innings to go the game's over. And we made a decision to get him hot, so I felt like I had to use him. 
haven't used them. Uh, you know, it's the first time I used them twice in one weekend, really, to speak of this year uh, for, you know, multiple outs. And uh, I'm sure Jordan's a fifth-year senior. He'll be ready to go next th this next game if needed. So we'll get them ready again. But uh, uh, you got to win. You got to win this game, or your season's over. So yeah, we made a decision. Didn't know we were going to get a four spot, but decided to go ahead with it. I was going to say, you had to feel pretty good about getting that four spot because you had left quite a few men on base before that. Had lots of chances, you know, and they uh, they pitched good. They pitched themselves out of the jam like we did, and, uh, you know, but uh, the kids stayed with it. They had some fight left in them there. Told them the dugout, let's, 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 uh, let's have some fight here. Let's finish this thing out and put together some good at-bats and see if we can get a crooked number up there. And uh, lo and behold, it uh, worked out. I guess a good pitcher, too, and correct. Yes, good pitcher. Yeah, very good pitcher. And uh, thought we had some really good at bats that inning.